Reddit could be ending itself. Yes, you heard me right. Hey everyone, NobleZeon here. You might be wondering why this is the case. Well, because they basically want to price out third-party apps. Now you might be asking NobleZeon, what's the damage? Well, the developers of Apollo, which is one of those third-party apps, spoke to Reddit, and they said it would cost a staggering $12,000 for 50 million requests. Now, Twitter is even more insane thanks to Elon Musk. Actually, I don't know if this was Elon's decision, but just wanted to meet on him. $42,000 for 50 million tweets. Reddit isn't going that far, but they're still going pretty far. Because for reference, Imager costs about 166 bucks for 50 million API calls, which is quite the difference. Now you might be saying that's a lot of requests, doesn't seem too harsh, but if we continue to use Apollo as an example, they made 7 billion requests that month. Yes, that is billion with a B, which means it would cost them 1.7 million dollars a month or 20 million dollars a year to keep the app running, not even including any of the other expenses that go into running the app. Also remember, this is only one app out of several who depend on Reddit's API. The developer of Reddit is fun says they're blocking ads in third-party apps which make up the majority of Reddit is fun's revenue, so they want to force a paid subscription model onto Rift's users. Meanwhile, Reddit's official app still continues to make the vast majority of its money from ads. Yeah, looks like Reddit wants to keep that ad money for themselves. And the developer of another app, Narwhal? said that Narwhal will be dead in 30 days if this pricing is implemented because they will be straight up priced out, costing them 1 to 2 million a year, which they don't have. Also, these third-party apps have many features that are just not in the official app, including some important accessibility features, which may make Reddit permanently inaccessible to users who depend on these features. However, what's even crazier is this is not just on the user level. As many subreddits use bots and tools that depend on Reddit's API to keep their communities free of spam nice and clean. Well, as clean as you can get it for Reddit standards because I've seen some crazy shit go down. But anyway, that's beside the point. This change in Reddit's policy is just gonna make Reddit worse. And so the community is stepping in to make their voices heard. Because on June 12th, many subreddits will be going dark. Yeah, either you won't be able to access the subreddit, or they're just making it read-only so no one will be able to post on it. Some will be doing it for 48 hours, while others are going to do it indefinitely until Reddit makes a change. For my channel, this could mean a change of content for a little while, there might be less Reddit and more other places, but uh, yeah, this is just a disastrous change by Reddit. A lot of people might leave Reddit, Others might reduce their usage of Reddit, since they don't really like the official app, or just straight up can't use the app because of accessibility features that are lacking that I mentioned before. And all that's gonna do is reduce Reddit's revenue, which in turn will reduce Reddit's value overall. If they go through with this, it's just not gonna be a good time for Reddit. By the way, r slash save third party apps has made it very clear that the two day blackout isn't the goal and it's not the end, should things reach the 14th with no sign of Reddit choosing to fix what they've broken, we'll use the community and buzz we've built between then and now as a tool for further action. They seem very dedicated to the cause, considering how many of us use Reddit. We may need to touch some grass for a little while after this one. But what can you do? Well, they suggest four things. One, complain. Message the mods of r slash reddit.com, who are the admins of the site. Message the user Reddit, submit a support request, comment in relevant threads on r slash reddit such as this one. You know, the one that the admins posted themselves about an update regarding reddit's API. Love how there's nothing about the cost by the way on here. You can leave a negative review on their official iOS or Android app and sign your username and support to this post. While I'm not really a fan of review bombing, I think this is a little different. Wouldn't really be considered review bombing if reddit is gonna actively get worse. Also, only do this if you genuinely don't enjoy their official app, or just straight up can't use it. Two, you can spread the word, rabble rouse on related subreddits, meme it up, make it spicy, bitch about it to your cat. 
Not sure what the cat will do, but okay. Suggest anyone you know who moderates a subreddit join us at her sister's sub at r slash modcord, but please don't pester the mods you don't know by simply spamming their mod mail. You know there are some redditors who are gonna take it way too far. That's why they have to include messages like these. Some people just can't behave on the internet. Three, boycott and spread the word to Reddit's competition. Stay off Reddit entirely on June 12th through the 13th and instead take your favorite non-Reddit platform of choice and make some noise and support. I think it's gonna be quite tough to bring up the competition, but if the people of Dig found Reddit, I'm sure the people of Reddit will find the next place to go to. Even if this time it is a little harder since the community is quite a bit bigger, I would think. And four, don't be a jerk. As upsetting as this may be, threats, profanity, and vandalism will be worse than useless in getting people on our side. Yeah, they can really use that against the movement, which is not something you want. Please make every effort to be as restrained, polite, reasonable, and law-abiding as possible. Just please don't be an asshole, seriously. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, then why not like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell? So, who is participating in this movement? Well, it's a really long list, which I am not gonna read here, otherwise the video will be an hour long. But just know that there are subreddits with millions of users, and even tens of millions of users, who will be participating in this blackout. So what is it exactly that this movement wants? One, they want to lower the price of API calls to a level that doesn't kill Apollo, Reddit is fun, Narwhal, Bacon Reader, and similar third-party apps. Two, they want to communicate on a more open and timely basis about changes to Reddit which will affect large numbers of moderators and users. Yeah, transparency has been a bit of an issue on Reddit's end as of late. It really feels like a lot of the times the admins are speaking at us rather than speaking to us. I don't know if that made sense to you, but yeah. And three, to allow mods to continue keeping Reddit safe for all users, NSFW subreddit data must remain available through the API. Now you might be asking, what is Reddit doing about this? How have they responded so far? Even though it's not the 12th yet as of the recording of this video. Well, a Reddit admin decided to publicly shame Apollo, the most popular third-party app for iOS for being inefficient with the API. Just wow, not the best move to regain the Reddit community's trust. So an Apollo developer says, as I asked before, could you please clarify what inefficiencies Apollo is experiencing versus other apps and not that it's just being used more? If I inspect the network traffic of the official app, I see a similar amount of API use as Apollo. If you're sharing how much API we use, would you also be able to share how much you use? I browse three subreddits, open about 12 posts collectively, and I'm at about 154 API requests in three minutes in the official app. It's not that hard to see that in a few more minutes I would hit 300, 400, 500, and beyond. To the moon. And you know the Apollo dev is gonna bring the receipts too. Here is the proof. If I'm wrong in this, I'm all ears, but please make sure the numbers make sense and how my 354 is inherently excessive. Oh, and look at the reply, trying to clarify the inefficiencies Apollo is experiencing. Having developers ask this question of themselves is the main point of having a cost associated with access in the first place. How might your app be more efficient? Google and Amazon don't tell us how to be more efficient. It's up to us as users of these services to optimize our usage to meet our budget. On May 14th, Apollo made nearly 1 billion requests against their API in a single day, triggered in part by our system outage. After the outage, Apollo started making 53% fewer calls a day. If the app can operate with half the daily request volume, can it operate with fewer? And shows an image of the Apollo requests going down after that fateful day. Yeah, but that's not the issue here. I'm sure the developer of Apollo will be very happy to make things more efficient if you price the APIs fairly because it means lowered costs for them. But with the prices you've proposed, no matter how efficient they make it, it just won't be possible to keep these apps free. Reddit takes some of the blame here for allowing that level of inefficient usage, which is why we haven't spotlighted it to date, but I think it's a good reminder that inefficiencies do exist. It also highlights the importance of having a system in place that shares the responsibility of managing this with developers. My dude did not answer the question at all, because the Apollo dev just said that the official app was using a similar amount of API, or rather a similar number of requests. And meanwhile, this Reddit admin is just like, oh, you just gotta be more efficient. 
Now, I must clarify here that I'm no developer, so I'm not exactly an expert on the technical aspect of this, but you don't have to be to notice that Reddit is just being greedy with these changes. Oh, and here's another way they've responded, by insta-banning the developer of a replacement API for moderation bots. You know, the moderation bots that help Reddit mods moderate their subreddits. So yeah, Reddit made a terrible decision, and Reddit decides to respond in the most Reddit way possible. Reddit, why are you like this? Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Amethyst, Phoenix, Krangis, McBiscopal, Dark Garden, Catalan Cormendi, Mike Hawk, Hold Up, Nightcrawler, Stormcloud the Wolf, Vicmeister1999, and Zoe Horsham. Feel free to join in the link below, and if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell, and if you have something interesting to say, feel free to comment!